Hello everyone! In this video we are going to have a lot of different stories and a lot of different news stories. Keep a critical mind as always. I will always try to put all the evidence and proof out there. If there isn't enough then also you can search for yourself but I will try to keep all those things out there for you guys and as always keep a critical mind and I hope you enjoy. Suzuya Aki, a former Nidisanji Gen uh, JP Gen 1. He was this one here. He was a male liver Nidi Sanji that came out with Hiuchi Kaede, Elu, Yuki Chihiro, Shizuka Rin, Shibuya Hajime, and Moira. So very early on, they started around, um, they, of course, like I said, they ended on the 31st, and I think they started around 2018. 2018, 28, basically, or in 210 on YouTube. So basically, it was the 10th of, I think it was, the, the, yeah, it's the 10th of February. And here we go with their new form. Here they go, uh, you know, introducing themselves to everybody. Nice to meet you. My name is Izuho Omi. I'm still in the process of preparing, but I'll do my best to become a great V singer. So I decided to go the V singer route, which is an amazing route to go. It is a hard route to go. It ain't easy. But of course, V singing, they're also going to be doing some just chatting as they're showing here. This is the person, just in case you need to, need to know the voice. I'm going to show it to you here. And yeah, they've decided to go the Shota route. Looks like they've decided to go Shota route and do V singing. Very nice uh, design. I think I had shown it in a previous video as well because they had uh, their design was doing shorts and things like that to kind of promote what they're doing. And it is a nice design overall. Very happy that they are doing something good for themselves. Says here's X Nidi Sanji. Congratulations to, the, to them. Hope they're successful. They calling it a her, but I believe it was a male. I believe it was a male. Again, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, it does mention it as a male here, and I do believe it's actually a male for the most part. Um, because they call it Akikun, Akikun Chan. I guess it's a, it maybe it might be an inside joke, but everything marks it as a male. So I'll just call it from what it is marked as. Uh, if they have a different preference, of course, let me know in the comments. We have Dokugai Chinami, who is someone who was a part of Nidi Sanji under Gundo Mire. And this is Dokugai Chinami right now. Uh, Gundo Mire was terminated on the 21st of June, 2023, uh, due to just a baseball joke. She didn't understand. You know, she made a baseball joke about couldn't the pitcher just throw the ball at the batter in order to prevent them from hitting it. And she had zero clue about baseball. This was just a simple mistake. But people in Japan and other places were like, oh my God, how could she say that? She knows she's violent, blah, blah, blah. And since uh, Koshien is something that, and baseball is something that's huge in Japan, Nidisanji decided to unceremoniously fire her and, you know, put a lot of blame on her as they tend to do. This is what they're doing now. As I announced, I will be going abroad for work month to study a language. I'm going to be studying a language, whatever language that is, most likely English. Got to face English, which I hate so much. Uh, the Wi-Fi at the place thing is weak, so I'll only be posting videos and not streaming or just chatting, but I'm not doing going to be lonely. So basically, they're going to be doing maybe just chatting streams, maybe some other stuff here. And here is an update as well for them and a continuous one here. Due to this, the sale will be withdrawn today or tomorrow. I will send it to you before I study abroad and want to take a photo during my study abroad. I'll put it up for sale separately. Request voice and autographed cat photo. This one here, this item from Booth. It's going to be withdrawn, as far as I know, because of the fact they're going to be doing this. This one here, the Chinami for, I believe this is like 15, 14, 15 bucks, which isn't that much. Uh, so when the when it gets restocked right now, it's, it's ended, as she said, it's ended. And after she gets everything settled and is able to take another cat picture, able to do everything again, it's going to come back up. So, of course, be patient if you were looking for that. If you didn't even know it existed, well, now you do. And... Uh, Wish them luck. I absolutely wish them lots of luck because uh, studying a language is not easy. Studying a language can be very difficult, especially, you know, Japanese and English being so different. The, you know, consonants, vowels and everything seems to be so different. We have certain sounds that they don't technically sound like the R is a certain thing, like certain R's and things like that can be difficult for Japanese speakers, uh, at least the, the, the English R's. And, um, that is language study is difficult overall so i wish them the best of luck and i know they're going to do amazing and when they get back people are going to be very happy of course this is huge news not in the good sense it's bad news but it's huge news that this even happened i have been copyright struck falsely by someone named falter xv this is not the same person i don't think so because i don't think they even know about iron mouse but um i do know how it is to get falsely hit with 
fake DMCA's and fake copyright strikes that are just done to troll and done to damage your reputation and to damage the channel. So I do hate people who do this. I have a distinct dislike for people who do this because I have been a victim of this recently. In May, it happened to me. Right now, it's happening to a much, much bigger channel, much more consequential channel on the internet, which is Iron Mouse. Uh, it says, someone has hit her official VOD channel with three malicious strikes. The only way to dispute it is to send her registered address and personal information to the claimant through YouTube's dispute process. And that's the reason why I didn't fight mine as well, because I'm not going to give a troll my address. Because a troll could use it for uh, nefarious purposes, whether it be swatting, whether it be stalking, whether it be sending you know threats, whether it be sending me like, I know where you live, I can do this harm. I don't want a troll, an online troll, not a company, an online troll to know where I live. And this is why I'm, I'm sure uh, Iron Mouse doesn't want to fight it. Claimants have ignored Vishodra's communications and YouTube wouldn't budge because YouTube doesn't care. YouTube for a safe harbor provisions, all it has to do is this basically means that they can't get sued. They have to send it to you and then it's up to you. If you want to fight it, you can send it to court and fight it there. Once that has been cleared, then that's when your stuff can come back. That's a months long process a lot of times. So that can be annoying. Uh, currently in the middle of a month long subathon and perpetrators likely time this for maximum disruption. And as far as I know, I'm going to show you the actual her saying everything. She's not fighting it as far as I know. For the reasons that I said, like, I didn't fight mine. Uh, apparently my VOD channel got copy strike like three times in a row. So, uh, it's gonna get deleted because I don't want to dispute it because I don't want to, uh, submit my personal information to whoever it is. So, uh, I think my VOD channel is gonna be deleted. Yep. So, sorry guys. <laughs> yeah, like, I don't really understand what's happening because, like, Vishojo, like, attempted to reach out to them <clears throat> to resolve it and they've ignored us and no one has reached out back even though Vishojo has reached out on my behalf and they don't want to answer so uh i don't want to give my personal information out to a stranger to dispute a claim so my channel is going to get deleted here's the thing that can be done if you have the money for it you can have a law firm represent you and have everything be sent through them and you can have the law firm's you know address etc be your address and your legal counsel your legal representative you can appoint them as a legal representative of your channel as far as i know that was a step that i could have taken but that cost thousands of dollars and i don't have that money so she could possibly do that uh but also she's in the middle of a subathon she's in the middle of you know just trying to have fun with her subs uh have fun with everybody right now she's at fifty-seven thousand, as far as i can see there a lot of subs whole lot of subs but uh i can definitely understand because like i said i've gone through that same stuff trolls do it and the person that did it to me falter i know he's a troll I do know that he's the type of person from what I've seen, from my experience, I don't know 100%, but from my experience, he has uh, released doxing information. He has released the information uh, unredacted, which is the problem. That is technically doxing when you when you don't redact things that should be redacted, like legal documents. I saw that and I was like, heck no, I'm not giving him my personal information. There is no way, shape or form where I'm going to give this guy my personal information. And that's her She's even bigger. She's even more susceptible to these types of things. It's even more dangerous for her to release the information. I am a nobody. I'm, I'm a tiny nobody. And she is big. So, of course, she doesn't want to release her personal information. She's a woman. I, and, uh, you know, it's just dangerous overall. Men, women, whatever. It's dangerous to have a doxer out there and have uh, someone who can either dox you with that personal information or, you know, send you other type of messages or other types of things that will not make your day great. And the memes get started. Let's go. Let's go and see what this is going to happen about. It's the okay. They're together. They're infamous. Uh, and you know they get in both. Then we get the uh, pre-made models, like the uh, people going in and, gra and grabbing it. Female livers, NDAs. They of course grab it as well. Uh, shady contracts. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> there you go. That was weird. That's Riku right there. Forced positivity. Ah, S management. Oh, basically he, he has so much BO. <laughs> Needy stink. He has so much BO that she, she freaking passed out. Well, that's that's an interesting one. And let's have this one. I take this more as a meme. Some people are a little bit uh, too crazy, but I take this just as a meme because of just how uh, 
weird this one seems to be. Some host is VTuber guide is seems to pay for a billboard. Uh, people do this all the time. They do it in Nidisanji. They do it in Hollow Life. That's why I'm taking this more as a meme. Uh, of course, uh, Fuwa Minato is loved by his fans. Just like a lot of people, even if he showed you love their, their, their people enough. Like Ina has gotten billboards. Other people have gotten billboards. This is not out of the ordinary. That's why I'm taking this as important. Bit of a meme. And how crazy both sides can be. Froggy Lock, a bit of a larger creator. Already is partnered with Gamer Subs, Clips Studio Paint, and others. They seem to be more of an art oriented vtuber they are uh, announcing a big piece of news at least for them froggy lock is talking about a swampy smell here let's see what goes on oh something popped up out of the swamp what is that it is a u2s so she is with u2 she's getting uh not necessarily sponsored but she's getting a u2s figure i'll take your whole stock those monsters they took my frog butt jokes aside congratulations on getting your plush swamp ass uh, Froggy, amazing everything she does. Looking pretty good, Froggy. Let's go. I'm gonna need to get this one. Uh, marketable plush spotted. Whoa, so cute. So excited for this. A lot of people are very excited. And um, like more of their stuff that they do, they have, you know, critic stands. They have all these wonderful things here. It's wonderful to see them grow, see people grow, and get their merch out there. Michi, of course, came back to streaming. And she has shown her most adorable uh, new design yet. It was something no one expected. No one expected. Yeah, everyone actually expected this probably. Uh, it is, of course, Michi Michi GV's new Jared model. Fun thing is he could turn 360 degrees, as you can see here. Uh, this is, I believe, in Blender. And uh, it's holy crap. Just being able to make this, like, being talented enough to do this kind of stuff. It's insane. It says, the way I knew it was you, I felt it in my butt cheeks. Uh, Mama Susu, number one. Yeah, basically, Susu's been doing this kind of stuff. It's the, the model mama for Jared there. Of course, they're having other, various other things popping up. And here is the full model of, of Jared. The butt cheeks! The butt cheeks! They have butt cheeks, for God's sakes. They have butt cheeks, too. Uh, <laughs> she likes the butt cheeks. But yeah, but yeah, she loves the butt cheeks. She loves that second part there. And of course, you have the full Jared there with the butt cheeks and everything involved. And it's just, it's fun to see. It's fun to see overall. Glad Michi's having a lot of fun with the evilness that she is. She's so very evil, I guess in the cutest way possible. And Michi is a gremlin, of course. A gremlin and everyone around her is a gremlin. Everyone around her loves her. And is appreciative that she's back. That she is in Vishojo, coming from where she was in Ichisanji, of course. Bao has been working her way up to something. Bao the Whale, a lot of people already know them. And for those who don't, this is Bao the Whale here. This is a large VTuber. A larger VTuber. And she's been working up to this. But how did we get to this point? Let me let me get you back to where we were before. She says, guys, I know I just dropped the song of the year, natural disaster, after I dropped song of the year, final bowl, final bow, after I dropped song of the year, my star GB, etc. Should I drop another song of the year? And that's where she goes, like, yes, this weekend's gonna be really special. Hope everyone comes it's September 3rd. Uh comes to the stream. And uh, of course, they're at, she's asking if she didn't drop uh the song of the year and here is what she's actually going to be doing besides dropping the uh the bubbles a song i believe or something like that um she is dropping her chibi model now her chibi model was something that nami created who's nami this is nami's chibi model so this is their own chibi model they are live 2d rigger sorry for that they're live 2d rigger and they are singing here. They're a Beluga live 2D rigger. So this is them and their own rig here. And of course, uh, this is the bow rig that she did. This is the design, the little, you know, sneak peek of the design, the full design, the feetsies, the everything. It's just, yeah. Oh, and also celebrating her 800K with that figure there and the silhouette, the silhouette with full movement. I don't know exactly how they do that, but it's awesome to see. Saturday at 12 p.m. Pacific time. So by the time you have been watching this, she already has her uh, whole thing out. And of course, you know, this is, you know, the, the mama who's done other chibi model, other chibi models here. Mofu has also had another chibi model. So just based on the chibi models, you know, it's going to be good. Like, look at these full models here, the showcases that they are doing, the full ones. It, she does a really good job. So you know that the bow model is going to be really well done, really well made. 
And of course, congratulations to Nami for being able to get the commission from Bao. And congratulations to Bao for actually getting something out there of chibi models. It takes a long time for a live 2D rigger to do this months ahead of time, months of planning. So it's a lot of uh, high expectations on the part of the person who commissioned it and a lot of you know stress and everything for the people who are being commissioned, etc. So it's it's a long road, but I'm glad they got there. And of course, people are asking if the comms are open and it says, I don't think I'll be able to open before December. So yeah, people, she's very popular now, especially with the bow thing, very popular, which is very, very, very well deserved because the bow model just by this looks very cute. Welcome back everybody to another VTuber showcase where I'd like to give back to the VTuber community who has given so much to me pay it forward with lots of love and lots of appreciation for everybody in the VTuber community. Now we're talking about Pip Luna, who is a shy little me taking her big steps in VTubing streaming. I love tea. So she looks to be demon oriented, or at least has the horns of one. So we are going to take a look at the other content that they have up here. Their about section says, my name is Pip Luna, a shy little new VTuber streamer who's finally deciding to embrace her fears and dreams. Uh, I love playing games, and if I'm not super amazing, but I wish to share in passion with everybody, which is, of course, what everyone tries to do. Not native with English, so my English comes with an accent. Might do weird sounds when I say something wrong, but let's laugh together and let's have silly fun with it. Which is what should always happen with anything that anybody creates. Just have fun. Have some silly fun. There we go. And we are also going to be showing you, as we always do, a little bit of what they do in their content. Chocolate chip cookies. Chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> Chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> it's not obvious at all what I'm drooling for here. Mm -mm. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. So, yeah, uh, chocolate chip cookies is not a euphemism for something else. It's just chocolate chip cookies, as far as I know. We'll treat it as that. And here we have Pip Luna, who also has been putting uh, their VODs on here. This is basically a repository for what they have on their main channel. So, of course, they also have some shorts here. Some uh, most of the content is this Soma. I played it when it first came out, when it had just come out years ago. I played it. It is a very good game. I do like it. It makes you think a lot. It makes you uh, think a lot about what consciousness is and what personality is and all that kind of stuff. So it is interesting that she played it as well. And here is everything that we have for Pip Luna. They are do look like a wonderful creator. I do hope that this VTuber showcase helps you grow at least in some way, or at least brings people to your channel, at least to see and, and maybe decide on their own. Thank you so much for being a part of this VTuber showcase. Thank you so much. And I hope this all goes well for you. Thank you so much for watching. That is all the news that we have for today. Please let me know down below if you want to know any more news or if you have any comments regarding anything that you saw here, which I will try my best to respond to. I love seeing your comments down below. Of course, as well, like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, that will give you more uh, information every single day. I do two videos a day, so hopefully you enjoy.